So I believe that there are five different types of minimalists. There's the aesthetic minimalists, the sustainable minimalists, the mindful minimalists, the budget conscious minimalists, and the experiential minimalists. All these minimalists have different goals in mind, but they share one common purpose, to live with less and to concentrate on more things that are important. So I decided to have a little fun with this idea and put myself in the shoes of these five different types of minimalists. The minimalist food challenge, I want to make the classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but in the way that these five different minimalists would make it. In this video, I want to show you how I would prepare it according to their mindset. And then if you want to know how they tasted, check out the comment section below. For your information, I tried to stick to the main ingredients. I didn't add any extra ingredients like bacon or cheese or whatnot to zhuzh it up. So let's begin. I'll start off with the aesthetic minimalists. They are the type of minimalist that really loves a decluttered space or a clutter-free space. They love a simple design and a neutral palette. Also, in my opinion, I feel that they would drop mad cash on higher quality items because they want the best that is offered. So I decided to go down this road to make a minimalist sandwich that was a little bit more luxurious. So my little adventure to make an aesthetic minimalist peanut butter and jelly sandwich started in the Plateau Outremont neighborhoods of Montreal. I decided to seek out the most bougiest or the most expensive peanut butter or jelly that I could find. So I decided to visit a fine food store by the name of Laurier Gourmet. This grocery store had many things imported from different parts of the world. And this is where I found the jelly in my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I found the most friggin' expensive jam in the whole entire world. Probably not, but this was quite expensive. This specific jam comes from Italy and is only imported during Christmas time. They order a small lot and once they sell out, they don't bring it back until the next Christmas. This jam is so bougie, it costs $17. I have never paid that much for jam in my life. My hunt continued for the most expensive peanut butter. I looked high and low, but I couldn't find one that was ultra chic. So I decided to just go for an organic brand. I believe it costs still $6. And then the last ingredient, I didn't go for any kind of white bread. I decided to go for something a little bit more luxurious. I decided to go with a loaf of brioche, something that had a higher egg and butter content, making it more expensive. For the sandwich, I cut two slices from this loaf, buttered each side, toasted it in a pan. I layered the organic peanut butter and then the bougie jam right on top of it. And to give it a little bit more of an alluring look, I decided to ground some peanuts and chop up some blueberries. Then I layered the crushed peanuts and the chopped up blueberries in a diagonal form on top of the open face sandwich. And this is how I think an aesthetic minimalist would make a peanut butter sandwich. Decadent to the maximum. Yup! Next up, the sustainable minimalist. This minimalist is all about the earth before anything else. Earth Bay. Did I just make up a thing? Earth Bay? Not really. Whatever. This minimalist would make a PB&J sandwich with the least impact on the environment. So how would I make this? Well, let's start off by shopping at a zero waste grocery store and I checked out what types they had. With my little mason jars in hand, I decided to go with an orange cranberry and black pepper confiture. It sounded so chic. The person working there took my mason jar, weighed it, and then filled it up to as much as I wanted. Next, the peanut butter. Now, instead of buying my own peanut butter, I decided to make my own. I have never done this in my life. And it's so simple. All it took was just peanuts and a food processor. All I did was take a pan, heated it up, added two cups of peanuts, roasted them for a few minutes, and then put them on a baking sheet to cool. After they cooled, I threw them into a food processor, turned it on on high, and chopped those peanuts as much as I could. After four minutes, the peanut butter became that paste that we know. It was a little bit on the drier side, though it was still spreadable. For the bread, I stuck with the loaf of brioche because I was able to go into a bakery that let me put it in my own bag. So that was one less single-use plastic bag in the garbage. For this sandwich, I cut off two slices of bread, layered my homemade peanut butter, and then topped it off with the orange cranberry and black pepper jam. Now I put myself in the shoes of a mindful minimalist. This is a person that prioritizes spirituality over stuff. Now in my head, I think this is the type of person that doesn't want to stress out about making a sandwich. They'll just go buy it. So all I did was I went to Timmy's. All I did was I picked up a bagel and asked them to put peanut butter and jelly in it. Super simple. It was less stress to feel more blessed. Now we come up to the budget conscious minimalist a person that's more interested in financial growth than spending money. The way that I think a budget conscious minimalist would make a sandwich? Well, I don't think they're too picky as long as they get their sandwich and they're saving all their Benjamins. Benjamins? Nobody uses that term anymore. The way that I envisioned them making this sandwich? 
I see them buying the best value bread at the grocery store and picking up those little free packages of peanut butter and jam. And finally, the experiential minimalist. This is a type of person that values experiences over materials. Now I went a completely different way and I decided to deconstruct the sandwich and make it into more of a peanut butter and jelly truffle. At another bakery, I picked up a brioche à la fleur d'oranger. I wanted my peanut butter and jelly truffle to be coated in this beautiful brioche. So I took it, I cut it up into small little cubes and then toasted it. After toasting the pieces of brioche, I put them to the side. Then on a piece of parchment paper, I took a tablespoon of peanut butter and dropped it on top of it. I did this three times and I put the parchment paper with the peanut butter in the freezer. I let them chill for about 30 minutes so when I pulled them out, they were easier to handle and flattened out into little discs. Then in the middle of each disc, I put a little bit of jam in the center. I stuck the disc back in the freezer and let it freeze for about another 45 minutes until it was solid. I pulled out the three discs. I pulled off each disc and with my hands, I pulled all the edges up to the center and over top of the jam. I rolled it with my hand and put it back on the paper. Once all three were done, I stuck them back on the freezer and let it freeze for another 30 minutes. While they were freezing, I took the rest of the chopped up peanuts and the chopped up dry blueberries from my aesthetic peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then I mixed them in with the toasted brioche. Once the truffles were nice and solid, I pulled them out of the freezer and I rolled them in the coating. Now they looked great, but the thing is that they started melting and losing their form after a few minutes while I was doing the photo shoot with them. Now thinking about it, I should have added powdered sugar into the peanut butter so that it would hold its form better. Well, I guess it's a lesson learned because it's all about experientialism, experiences. And here they are five peanut butter sandwiches the way that I think five different minimalists would make them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe because I have four more in this series of how five minimalists would make a classic sandwich. And also I'll be putting out more unique minimalist content for your pleasure. Now let me know in the comment section below if you're one of these types of minimalists and how you would approach a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!